Hey friends, this is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead, and today I'm making stew in the Instapot. But I'm making enough for two meals, and I'm using dehydrated ingredients. Let's get started. Okay, this is a kind of twofer. I got a pound of stew beef that I uh, cut smaller while it was still partially frozen. I have two cups of um, frozen onions. You can use fresh. I have here, here's the secret. I have a cup and a half of dehydrated diced potatoes and I have a cup and a half of dehydrated carrot slices. Here I have a half a cup of flour, a teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, uh, a bit of coarse black pepper, and a pinch of pink Himalayan salt. That's our dredge. Let's get our meat in there, put the lid on this, and get shaking. Okay, so now in our skillet, we have a bit of uh, sunflower oil and some butter. Here goes our dredge. And into that it goes. And we're just going to brown this all up. We want to soak up the oil and the butter and we want to brown up our meat. Mmm, that smells good. And into this I'm going to add a little bit of MSG free um, beef bouillon powder just to offset the fact that we're using mushroom broth and vegetable turkey broth. Alright, everything seems to be nicely seared and the flour is attached to the fats. And now I'm just going to pour this all in here just like that. We'll give this a stir. On goes our lid, just like that, and it's all set to go. It's preheating, and then it's going to cook for 35 minutes. Okay, it has finished venting. Let's see what our stew looks like. Oh, yummy. Oh, that's just beautiful. That is just, look how nice and thick that is. Now hopefully, I can stop Papa from eating it all tonight. And we'll have some leftover stew to make into another meal tomorrow. So, this is um, beef stew, but I made it with dehydrated carrots and potatoes so that it would be thicker. Tastes like stew. <laughs> Thanks, honey. There you go. Tastes like stew. Doesn't get any better than that, does it? Okay, I know I promised you a leftover makeover meal, but really, all I'm doing is reheating the stew and adding dumplings. We gotta do this quick. This is why I'm using my cookie scoop, because Papa will be home soon. You want to just put these dumplings on top of this hot stew. Quickly, 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 get the lid back on and cover until Papa gets home. Okay, Father's home. And you're not going to see him on camera tonight because you know what he'll say? It's stew and dumplings. So we're just going to dish it up and show you what it looks like. But oh my goodness. Look. I bet you it looks like stew with dumplings. Oh, I bet you you're right. Look. Yum. E. This is the Miss Wolfie from our Half Acre Homestead saying, like I said, it's stew and dumplings. But it makes for a change, doesn't it?
Take care. God bless. And that's how we make one package of stew beef. Do two meals. Okay, so here's the review. Do I love the Instapot or do I hate the Instapot? Well, I neither love nor hate the Instapot. I'm going to stick with my original assessment that I have everything I need to do exactly the same thing already in my kitchen. I have Dutch ovens. I have frying pans and I have crock pots and they all do the same thing. And, and it's something I'm used to. I cook a certain way and the Instapot, yes, I tried it. And yes, it did everything everybody said it would, except save me time and frustration. It didn't. It is not a tool I'm going to use very often. So it's back in the box and in my pantry. And I appreciate the gift of it, but it's just not for me. All right, this is Mrs. Wolfie from Our Half Acre Homestead saying, whether you love the Instapot or you hate the Instapot, I gave it a fair shake. I can see its uses, but it's not for me. Take care, God bless.